Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I see many familiar faces and a few unfamiliar faces. Uh, so if this is your first time, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, today is our lucky day, again. Uh, if you were here last week, you might remember that uh, we did videotaping for our class. And uh, today is a special <laughs> lucky opportunity because we are uh, going to record today's class as well. Okay? Uh, so please don't worry about the camera. In fact, the camera is just looking at me. Uh, and the uh, microphone is only on my mouth. So please uh, relax and take it easy. Um, for those of you who know me, and many of you know me, you might be looking at my head and yeah. thinking, why? Yeah. Uh, this is a new style uh, for me this year. So why do you think? Why, why did I cut my hair? It is cool. Um, of course, that's the number one reason. Yes, number one reason. Um, many people ask me, you know, when they see my haircut, they say, what, what happened? <laughs> you know, uh, I think many people have an idea that um, to have a drastic haircut uh, signals some meaning. Mm -hmm. Like maybe some event happened in your life or maybe something finished and you want to start fresh. Uh, in fact, for me, there's no reason like that. Uh, everything is good and everything is normal and continuing. Um, actually, the real reason is that uh, it's very convenient. You know, I have the beard cutter, and now I can just cut everything <laughs> one size, very easy. So, in fact, that's the reason. Okay, and it feels great. Okay, um, today we're going to do something different from normal. Okay, if you are not a regular member of this class, then everything will be new to you. Uh, but if you are a regular member of this class, if you've come here every week, uh, you will notice that today we're going to do something different at the beginning. And we're going to do a little warm-up game. Just going to try it, all right? Um, the name of this game, can you see the name? Can you see the title? Outburst, that's right. So let's begin with this word, outburst. What do you think? Anybody know the meaning? It's a compound word, right? Out, burst. We're talking about something same time. Talk about something same time. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Okay, talk about something. Yes, that's important. Mm -hmm. Same time. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, the out is for the words, yeah. right? The words come out of your mouth. And burst, anybody know the meaning of burst? Tears burst. Tears burst, okay. What does that mean? Does something come out someplace? <laughs> okay, the, the basic meaning of this word, okay, What's this? A balloon. Okay, if I take a sharp pin and what happens? Well, not blow up. Okay, blow up is a big explosion with lots of fire. Okay, but the balloon will pop. Okay, or the balloon will burst. Okay, so many other things can burst, like a bubble, right? If you Touch the bubble, the bubble will burst, mm -hmm. okay? We also use this metaphorically. Mm -hmm. So if you have hopes, right? Uh, I hope that my son will be a doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that I will be rich. I hope that uh, the weather is nice tomorrow, mm -hmm. okay? When our hopes are disappointed, we also say, my hope burst. Mm -hmm. Like your hope is a bubble and suddenly, uh -huh. Hmm, okay, your hopes are disappointed, your hopes burst, okay? Um, in this case, uh, outburst has a, uh, a very simple meaning, uh, very similar to what she said. Outburst is when uh, you suddenly speak out some words, okay? In most classrooms uh, with strict teachers, 
uh, you know, this, the, there are rules, right? A student can speak if they raise their hand, right? The teacher asks a question, many students, oh, 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 me, okay? And the teacher will call on a student and the students speak one by one. That is not outburst, okay? Outburst is when everybody can speak at any time. The words can suddenly come out of your mouth, okay? So please remember that in this game, you don't have to raise your hand. You don't have to wait. You can say any word at any time. Okay, this is the basic way the game is run. Um, there are also some basic rules to this game. And, um, well, I'm going to explain these rules a little bit later. Let me begin by showing you an example of what we're going to do. Well, first of all, uh, this is a team game. We need teams for this game. So, there are many ways to make teams. We could divide the boys from the girls, uh, but that would take some time. Or, sorry, gentlemen from the ladies. Uh, instead, why don't, we, why don't we just divide down the center of the table like this? Okay, Starman, you have to make a choice. Left or, okay, you sure? Starman, yeah, okay. So we have two teams, and um, you need to make a few decisions, all right? Please first look at your teammates. Everybody say hello. Hi. You know everybody? Okay. Now each team needs one captain and a team name, okay? So please look around and choose one person to be your team captain, team leader. Yeah, team captain? No? You're feeling shy? Okay, team captain is an easy job. That just means you decide. You, you make the choices about the other people. You're the leader. Okay, so team captain? Okay, and how about over here? It's okay? You feel, feel okay? It's okay, you can be shy. Yeah, no problem. This is a very easy job. Team captain, okay. So we have two team captains, two teams. Now you need a team name. What do you think? What's the name of your team? Star? Star power? Star force? Just star. Okay, we got the star team over here. You're the captain, yeah. Okay, yeah, you decide. Star team over here and moon, sun. The Shy Boys? Abercrombie? Sun. Sun. Okay, this is a, uh, an astronomically themed day. We have uh, you know, the daylight team and the nighttime team over here. Okay, so we have two teams. Now, this game involves words. Okay? Basically, it is a guessing game. All right? To guess the words, um, you need to use any techniques that you can. Okay? You can explain, you can use body language and gestures, but if it is your turn, you must make your team members guess some words. Okay? Now, let me explain how it works. Okay. I have several cards here. These are called topic cards. Okay, there are many of them, all right? Uh, every topic card has a topic on the top, okay? For example, this card says different things that are black and white, okay? Also on this card are many words. In fact, there are 10 words in total. Each of these 10 words matches this topic. Okay? So remember, what's the topic? Different things that are black and white, white and black. Same, right? Okay? So those words are here on this card. For example, very important equipment right here. Okay? Um, if you look at the card, no, you can't see anything, right? Okay, that's why this is a magic window. You put the card in the magic window. Now it's perfect. You can see the words. Okay, 
So I'll do an example with you to begin with, uh, just so you know what to do. Okay. First, I look at the card. Uh, I tell you the topic, right? You know the topic already. Different things that are black and white. Now it's my job to make you guess these words. Okay. So you can listen to my clues, right, and guess the words, or you can just. Outburst, yeah, okay. So think, do you know anything that's black and white? Say, huh? Color. Color. Which color? Yeah. That's two colors. Yeah, you must think of something in the world that is black and white, that has the colors black and white, okay? A piano, well, that's true, but it's not here, so no. Okay, for example, Kung Fu Panda. Okay, that's one. Okay, so you got one word. That means I click this box here. Okay, Panda. Okay, another animal um, wears a tuxedo. That's right, okay. Um, another one with a stinky tail. His tail smells very, yes, that's right, okay. Another one looks like a horse but it's black and white with stripes? Zebra, okay. Um, here is something that people read, usually in the morning. Newspaper, Newspaper that's right, black and white, right? Okay. Um, here's something that, uh, now we have big widescreen, hmm. Uh, not film, but uh, it's at home, it's on the wall. These days it has, okay, TV. These days it has color, but in the old days, it was yeah, black, and white. black and white TV. Okay, all right. Um, in Korea, it's a different color, but uh, in America, uh, this is an automobile, and it chases the criminals. Special officer. Police car, yes, okay, police car. Okay, so you understand the idea? Now, if you notice... I used many techniques, okay, I used some words, I used some gestures, okay, uh, but I did not use any Korean, okay, so gestures, okay, English, okay, Korean, no, okay, if I speak Korean, that's a foul, I lose that word, okay, and if I say any word on this car, d, that's also a foul. For example, I had trouble. It says old TVs, right? I had to think, how can I say this clue without using the word old, without using the word TV? I said uh, flat screen, uh, watching, you know, but I cannot use the words that are on this card, okay? Or police car, right? I said, this is an automobile. It chases criminals, officers, right? But if I say police, or if I say car, that's a foul. Understand? Okay. So we're going to try this. Uh, this is a battle game, and I think we'll do three rounds. That means uh, once, twice, three times. So we'll do it in pairs. That means instead of me, okay, each team will take a turn, and two of you will come up here, okay? You are the clue givers, and you will do it together. So it's, it's yeah, no pressure, low pressure. You and your partner will come up here, choose a card, and then begin, okay? You will have a time limit. Let's say, let's try two minutes to begin with, two minutes. And in those two... Yeah, 10 words in those two minutes. Yeah, you can try. Three minutes? Okay, well, the first round will be three minutes. Second round, two minutes. Third round? Okay, all right, we'll try it. Okay, so in that time, you need to get as many words as you can. Okay, if you get all 10 words, 10 points. If you get five words, five points. Very simple. Okay? Okay, so team captains, uh, please do some rock, paper, scissor to decide who is first. Team captain? 
<laughs> was that a rock or is that a pre preparing? Okay. Okay, so would you like to try first or let the... Try second. Try second. Okay, so that means the sun team will be first. Okay, so captain, please choose two clue givers to begin. Okay, everyone will get a chance, so, you know, just choose any, t any two people. Please choose two people. Select two people. Decide your first two people. Two, two guys first, two men first? Okay, come on up. Also, I know many of you have smartphones, either iPhone or something else. Do you have a timer? Yeah. Okay, so please, uh, you will be the timer. That means you tell them, begin! And you tell them, only two minutes or only one minute. And at the end, countdown, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, okay. Uh, this is your magic window, okay? If you see these boxes here, you can remember what words, sorry, what words they said already. Okay, please take that. Okay, each card has two sides, but the red is too difficult, I think, <laughs> really. So, blue side, please choose one topic card. Okay, you're lucky, that's a good one. Okay. So just put that in there. Can you see? Okay, so hold on, just wait. You can take a look, together take a look. This is your topic, winter sports. Winter sports. That's up to you, you're the timer. So if you want to start, you have to tell them. You can't start, it's too late. Are you ready? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, if you want to start, say, ready, start, or something. Right, up to you, but tell them when you start. Okay, it's very popular in the U.S. and Canada. It's a, a kind of a sport. Right, right, right. And second, uh, this is a kind of sport, right? This, what, what is this? Okay. Then third is, uh, this is a very, very famous player, Kim Yona. Which, is, which is sport? Uh -uh. Which which Korean. Sport? That's foul. Oh, which sport? Do you know that it's just a name? It's just a name. Okay, okay. Keep, continue, continue, continue. Anyway. Oh, which sport? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's my, it's my uh, wrong explanation. Just uh, kind of the sport. You just like uh, running, but only... Ice skating. Okay, uh, true. The sport is a... Pass. And uh, <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's, uh, it's a kind of the, the uh, sled, but it's uh, uh, normally three, three, three person. Right. Uh, oh. Then it's uh, the, uh, I think it's not the common in Korea, mm. but it's a kind of the boat use, use boat in the, on the ice. So it's a use the, the boat move by the wind. Wind. So you can. Sorry. Uh, it's a kind of boat, but moved by the wind. So you can. Uh, but okay. Then but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. It's more easier. Then you just uh, take some fish, but on the, the in the winter season. So. The only, sorry? Right. Right. So then, uh, so Alaska, there are some the dog for gophers, and then, uh, so, uh, so, the kind of uh, the racing, so, Ski? Right. Uh, <laughs> what kind? So, so they, com 
Copy, rate. copy the issue of life. Rate. Yeah, yeah, just so, like so, 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 You can skip if you want, no problem. Yeah. So we need now, you only have the three words remaining, so... Only ten. Too difficult? <laughs> Pass? Uh, uh, okay, Nine. so, so I, 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 I said so <laughs> kind of, so kind of the phrase, phrase, so you just Stop. push... Sorry, <laughs> time's up. Okay, wow, that was wonderful, really good. Good explanation, good body language. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, so you got hockey, skiing, ice skating, bobsledding, uh, dog sled racing, yeah, and what else? Ice fishing and sledding? Sledding? Okay, let me just confirm. Toboggan. Missed, right? Toboggan? Okay, toboggan is over here. Toboggan is a kind of sled, but it's very long. It's a long wooden sled uh, with many people. It's like a bobsled, but it's usually for fun. Those kids ride on toboggan. Okay, so you missed toboggan. Your explanation was perfect, but very difficult. Ice sailing? Remember he said a boat powered by wind. Yeah, ice sailing, so mist, right? Ice sailing. Uh, ice fishing? I think I said there's an answer here. Did you say anybody? Ice fishing? Yes. You said, okay, all right, all right, ice fishing. Uh, dog sled racing. Snowmobile? No, okay. Sledding? Did you say no? Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six points, right? Okay. All right, first round, Sun Team, six points. Okay, Star, Star Team, please choose your first two contestants. Boys again? No? Oh. Don't worry, you do it together, so it's, it's no pressure, low pressure. Okay, somebody here, do you have a timer? Yeah. Smartphone? Okay, please take a seat. Okay, so choose any topic, just one. Okay, so take a look and get ready. Don't begin yet. Your clue is, listen carefully, movie theater stuff. Stuff means things. Okay, so things or stuff in a movie theater or related to movie theaters. Okay, so think of, yes, difficult. Think of movie theaters, think of everything about movie theaters. You ready?
here. And uh, what is it? But there is no. But <laughs> in the at the at the uh, before the movie start, mm -hmm. the people will think if you if emergency occur, uh -huh. you can go mm -hmm. this this way and this way. What is that? Exit door. Exit what? Exit, Exit sign. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, last one. <laughs> there is missing. Okay, did you pass any? One more thing. What is this? Can I take your this? Yeah. Okay, wow. Woo! What's the time? Uh, one, two minutes. That's two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, so seats, screen, popcorn, film, exit signs, audience, candy, restrooms, projector, movie posters. Ten points. Oh. And excellent job, excellent work, yeah. Good support, okay. Okay, so it's now 10 points to six points and we'll try the next round, okay? So please choose your next two people. So we need two people. Okay, here's the magic window, very important equipment. And please take a card. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I think that's good, actually. So get ready, don't begin, just okay. take a look. Okay, uh, you have the timer ready? Okay, here is your topic. The topic is animals that lay eggs. Do you understand? Animals that lay eggs. You okay? Alligator. Close, very close. Yeah. The ground and the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These animals has uh, similar to chickens, but uh, uh, we can wear their feathers. Dogs. 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 No, 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 not that one. They, they can't, they can't Good. fly. It's geese. Geese, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, geese, yes. <laughs> Long and blue. Long and blue. Okay. Yeah, when they 
sing a song, <laughs> their mouth oh. is a little bit bigger oh. than uh, uh, um, normal. Ten seconds. Toast. Huh? No? Five seconds. Yeah. Toast? <laughs> okay, time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up. Okay, so you got chickens, right? Chickens. Ducks, yes. Alligators, geese, ants, turtles, frogs, which are long and blue. Okay. Snakes, dinosaurs, only one you missed, which was. Yeah, or as we say, ostrich. Ostrich, that very large bird with the long neck. Yeah, ostrich. Christmas? Ostrich at Christmas? Turkey? No turkey. Okay, also one point is that, so ducks, I think, you gave no clue for duck, but remember, it's outburst. Somebody said it, right? You said duck, so that means it's a point, okay? So that's nine points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's 15 points. Star team, who's your next champion? Okay, timer ready? You feel cold? Would you like a jacket? Do you want to do some exercise? Three minutes, right? Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Take one topic. Okay, all right, first change these. So these boxes are to check which words your team guesses so you can remember. Okay, so don't begin, just take a look. Uh, this clue is a little different, okay? Actually, the clue is this. Sun blank. That means many words that begin with sun. Sun mm, something. Oh. Wow. Um, how about the flowers? Oh. oh. Eh. Sorry. <laughs> Foul. Oh. Okay. Something cool. Uh, gloaming? Gloaming? Uh,
pass? Too difficult? Ten minutes? Oh, relax. No problem. It's okay. About ten seconds. Okay, time's up. You were unlucky. You got a very difficult topic. Okay. Um, sunshine? Yes, okay. Sunglasses? Yes. Sunday? Yes. Sunset? Mm, too bad, too bad. Sunrise? Sunrise? Okay, all right. That's a check. Suntan? Yes. Sunflower. Ah, okay, so no sunflower. Sunburn? Okay, I believe you. That's a check, yeah. You were describing at the beach, and they said many different words. Uh, yeah, I remember sunburn, okay. Sun, what's on top of the car? Sunroof. <laughs> you know, sunroof. Uh, sunroof, sunroof, okay. Uh, or, this is maybe not common in Korea, but in America, people love to have dark skin. So they go to the, they go to the suntan parlor and use a sun, like this, a sun lamp. Sun lamp, okay. So, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, not bad. Good job. And now, look at that. The score is very close. Okay, so for the final round, we have the Sun team with 15 and the Star team with 16. So, uh, team captain, please choose your final warriors, Fireman. your final fighters, I guess. Anybody is okay if you have if you have shy members. Anybody is fine. Yeah, anybody is fine. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. If you feel shy, you don't have to try it. It's okay. Just relax. It's okay. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Some people feel very shy to come up here, so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Now, remember, some topics are not easy, so you have to choose wisely. Well, not wisely, but luckily. Okay, why so many animals? Okay, you have the timer ready? What, what do you think? Should we cut it down? Yeah, let's say two minutes. So the pressure is on, a little bit high pressure here for the final round. They're checking their email over here. And, uh, no. Okay, so the topic is animals again. I don't know why. Animals in a circus. Do you understand? Animals in a circus. Circus. Like circus. We say circus. There's a, when I first came to Korea, maybe three years ago, there's a very popular song. Maybe MC Mon, Circus. Do you, know, do you know the meaning of circus? Okay, all right. Circus animals. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. And uh, you ride this. What is this? No, no, no. Very fast. Monkey. <laughs> ride a monkey. Long neck. Oh, no dictionary. Uh, uh, do you know the uh, animation? Camera, camera, camera. This that animal is appeared in Cusco, Cusco. Live in uh, Latin America. 
You, you should say also the, the move. So this animal in the on the circus, they the, like this. Like on the, the like ball. On the ball, like this. Uh, so still, still? No. Okay. Right, right, right. Still. But, but you, there is some the, uh, kind of the practice. Why is, why is this? Still? What kind, why is the, what, what do you? Trainer? Yeah. Tra train. 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 Wow. <laughs> that was an, a perfect clue. Yeah. Trained dogs. Dog Nobody dog. said dog? Oh, yeah. Okay, so no dog, but you got elephants, horses, yeah. which you ride, right? Not monkeys. <laughs> Maybe some people ride monkeys. Lions, tigers, mm -hmm. trained seals, mm -hmm. giraffe, camels. Camel. Okay. <laughs> What's the animal in South America? Do you know? There's a long neck in the maybe Peru. Maybe you know. Cusco. Cusco. Oh, there's animation Cusco. Has a long neck. They make sweaters from this animal. Llama. 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 Okay, so no llama. And dancing bears, I think. Nobody said. Okay. So train dogs, llamas, dancing bears. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points. Good job. Five, six, seven. Okay, now let's see here. 22 points over here, 16 points over here. That means you need six to tie and seven to win. Okay, so who will be your final warriors? Starman, okay. Okay, there's your magic window. You feel nervous? No, cool. Okay. So remember, the, for the final round, it's only two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Oh. Okay, so do, don't begin. Just take a look. Mm. This, this topic is a little uh, different, okay? Mm. Three-letter words. Okay, every word is three letters long. For example, S-U-N, three letters, okay? But they begin with D. Okay, so that means it's D something something. You understand? Yeah. Three letter words I begin with D. I have seven words I don't know. That's a pity. <laughs> you know, if you don't know the word, the meaning, it doesn't matter. If you can make them say that sound, that's enough. You can say D, but the, no more letters, no more letters. <laughs> no, the, illegal, cannot do that. <laughs> oh. Darker light. 
<laughs> Darker light. So light is getting darker and darker. <laughs> good, good clue. <laughs> okay, time's up, time's up, time's up. Okay, so that, that's a very good clue. The light is getting darker and darker. Now, when the light is getting less and less bright, we turn down dim, right? Okay. Dim, D-I-M. Uh, D-O-E is a female deer. Do you know the sound of music? Do, a deer, a female deer. Everybody knows that song, right? Okay. So you missed do, dim, and den. Den. D-E-N. Den is just a room in the house. It's usually like the TV room. It's called the den. Or it's also where thieves hang out. A robber's den. A thieves den. Den. Okay. But that means you got dip, dog, dad, dam, day, dig, and www dot, which is seven points, so you win. Wow, it's amazing. Okay, good job. Okay, um, it's about the halfway mark of the class right now, so we're gonna take a little break, but let me explain what we're going to do next. Before we take a, ah, here it is. Okay, um, for the next part of class, we're going to be doing an activity uh, which is, which has many uh, segments, which has many parts, okay? Uh, it begins with a very short and simple article. So we're going to read an article together. Uh, next, we're going to look at some words and expressions together. And finally, we're going to uh, have some discussion uh, which is based on the topic of the article. Okay, so we're going to take a break right now for about 10 minutes, but I'm going to give this to you before the break. That means if you want to use your break time to preview the article, that's fine. If you want to use your break time to eat some snacks, of course, that's also fine. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Here you go. Okay, so we will begin again at about Depression, Depression. Severe. 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 Severe, Severe, Research. Research. Okay, actually, um, you know that in many cases, uh, word pairs in English, nouns and verbs, have the same shape or the same spelling, you can say, uh, but they differ depending on the stress pattern. Yeah, depending on the left side or the right side. Um, in the case of research, uh, there's no connection between noun and verb, just some people say research and some people say research, okay? So it's a little different. Uh, this is called free variation. It means uh, the, the stress pattern changes depending on the person who is speaking, okay? Most of my British friends or people from uh, Australia or New Zealand, other uh, you know, former British colonies say research, okay? And most American people say research. 
Research, yeah, for both noun and verb forms, okay? So it's up to you. If you want to sound a little British, right, it's like Prince William, you can say research, yeah. Or, yeah, depending on your mood, both are okay. Okay, let's continue. Issue. Risk. Risk. Finances. Okay, this word is also very similar to research. Some people say finances. And some people say finances. Finances, yeah. Uh, in the first version, the first syllable is a diphthong, fai, fai, and stressed, finances. Okay. In the second version, the first syllable is a short vowel, and the stress is on the second syllable, finances. Okay. But I say finances because I'm American. Okay, next one, irregular. 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 And finally, haunt. 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 Okay, so let's try the meanings. Uh, pole. What's the meaning of pole? Sampling. That's right, a, a sampling of opinion. What does, it, what does sampling mean? Just get? Make a kind of standard. Okay, so if I ask everybody your opinion, everyone here, is that a, a sampling? No, only three or four. That's right, yeah. okay. A sampling means you don't ask everyone's opinion, just randomly you choose random people, right, not by any order or reason, and you ask their opinion, okay? So when you look at political polls, for example, next year is the big... Uh, presidential election, that's right. So from now until then, like every week on the news, they have the polls, who's higher and who's lower. But that doesn't tell you the whole story because it's just a sampling, right? It's randomly selected people. But still, they're usually quite accurate. Okay, next one, suffer. That's right, experience pain or distress, which are, of course, negative things, right? Suffer has a negative nuance. Depression. Deep sadness, Deep sadness yes, that's right. Please uh, avoid it. It's bad. Don't worry, be happy. Okay, severe. That's right, serious. Severe or serious. Um, I think a more accurate way to describe severe is high degree. Okay, severe really indicates that the degree is high. Okay, is it, is it used for positive or negative words? Negative. Usually negative, that's right. For example, if I say, um, you know, he suffers from severe depression. Is that okay? Well, the language is okay. Situation is not, right? It's bad. How about, uh, he is severely happy. Now, that's weird, okay? That's strange because severe is used for negative words, okay? Research. Okay, scientific. Here's another word with free variation. I say inquiry. Inquiry. Okay, but some people say inquiry. It is true, okay? I say inquiry, uh, but it's, again, uh, that's free variation. Pronunciation depends on the person. Mm -hmm. But that is correct. Okay, next one. Uh, <coughs> issue. Point of, controversy. Point of controversy. That's right. What is a controversy? Kind of, debate. Kind of a debate. What's a debate? <laughs> that's right. Okay, some point where there are differing or different opinions, different points of view. People disagree, okay? If everybody agrees, it's not a controversy. It's not really an issue, okay? Next one, risk. Danger, Danger. that's right. Finances. Money. That's right, money. Everybody likes that word. Uh, irregular. Abnormal. What's another word with the same meaning? Irregular, abnormal, un... Uncommon, yeah, uncommon or unusual, okay? 
All of these mean something different from the normal or standard. Okay. And finally, haunt. That's right. Okay. Now, haunt uh, is a kind of special word because it's not very common. Okay. It's usually used in one particular situation. That's right. Okay. A haunted house. So, what is a haunted house? There's at least one ghost, okay? So haunt describes the action of ghosts, okay? But if the ghosts are happy ghosts and friendly ghosts and tell jokes with the people in the house, they are not haunting the house, okay? To haunt is to bother, okay? So if the house is haunted, that means there are ghosts in there, but they are somehow scaring or bothering the people inside. Okay. Uh, in any case, you can see that for this article, we have no ghosts, right? What is the title? Stress, Stress haunts, one out of three. Okay, so it's not a ghost that's bothering people. What is it? Stress. Stress. Okay. Um, so this article is about stress. Uh, let's take a look. Actually, let's read this together. Um, we'll try one sentence at a time. So, uh, can you please begin and read the first sentence for us? <laughs> or in Korean, studesu. Okay, thank you very much. Please continue. Next sentence. The research shows that between the age of 10 and 50, 21 percent suffer from severe physical stress and 14 percent fall between the boundary of stress and a normal condition. Okay, very good. Next paragraph. It is a very serious matter that the Hanjido Health researcher of the study. Okay. Okay. Yes, seriousness. Seriousness. Okay, that's right. Okay, please continue. Oh, I think you skipped a line. Stress can be, be careful. Okay, good. Appetite. Nausea. Nausea. Okay. Uh, what is loss of appetite? What does it mean if I have lost my appetite? Well, yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter about eating or not. You know, I can lose my appetite but still eat. So it's not connected to the act of eating. What does it mean? I lost my appetite. You don't enjoy your food. Okay, that's one way of thinking about it. Or you, you feel no hunger, right? You're not hungry. Yeah, your imat torajida falls down or no imat. Okay, that's right. So that's why I mean I lost my appetite, but, you know, I still must eat to get my babshim, okay? Anyway, it means you're not hungry, right? What about nausea? Okay. Nervous? Nervous? It's like, um, yakyapta. Well, actually, yeah, in that case, when you feel nervous before a big speech, yes, you can use nausea, uh, maybe a slight nausea. Yeah, it's not, it's not so bad that you feel you're going to vomit, but it's slightly, yes, a slight feeling of nausea. Exactly, yeah. Yes, you can use it in that situation. 
Okay. Um, okay, let's continue. Next sentence. Okay, very good. Now, um, let me ask you a few comprehension questions before we move on to the discussion part. Um, first of all, in this article, uh, we read about several health problems that are caused by stress. In other words, stress leads to health problems. What are those health problems? I think there are three, three, three or four? Okay, can you tell me? What health problems are caused by stress according to this article? Depression. Yes, depression, loss of appetite, nausea. Okay, actually, yeah, if you read carefully, it says can give rise to, which means cause, right, cause, give rise to irregular heartbeat. And irregular heartbeat can lead to heart attack. So they're saying stress doesn't directly cause heart attack, but it can indirectly lead to heart attack. Uh, mild uh, nuance difference, but uh, important. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Now, in this uh, article, we also learn about some kind of research, right? A research study. So what countries did they test? What countries did they research? Korea, yes. U.S., Australia, Canada, France, Germany, and Italy. Okay. Now, of all of these countries, which resulted in the most stress? What country is the most Korea. stressed out country? <laughs> Korea. Can you believe it? Okay. We're going to talk about that later. Um, I wonder where the U.S. is here, actually. I don't know. Um, finally, uh, one more question. This article tells us about health problems that are caused by stress, but we also hear what causes stress. Okay? What are some of the things that cause stress? Okay, that's right. Jobs and finances. It's kind of the same thing, I think. You know, very, very closely related. Okay, so please turn it over. Turn over the sheet. And we're going to look at the questions on the back. Now, <clears throat> if you are new to my class, then let me explain that when we have uh, discussion questions, we usually divide into little groups or partners. So we're going to do that today. Uh, you will join one person or two people to discuss these questions together. And later, we will talk about them together as a group. Okay? But before we break into little groups to discuss, let's look at the questions together. Okay, to make sure that you understand them all. All right? So can you please read question number one? Do you feel that you have too much uh, stress in your life? What are the main cause of your stress? Okay, what are the main causes of your stress? For example, they told us jobs, finances. Mm -hmm. But of course, there are many, 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 many things that cause stress. Okay, so you can discuss that with your partner. And number two, please read. Okay, the first question is good. Second question, I don't know how you can answer, actually. But is some stress good for you, right? This article discusses some bad effects of stress. But is stress always bad? Is it always a negative thing in your life? Or 
does it sometimes have some positive effects? Okay, you can discuss that with your partner. Okay, number three. What are the effects of stress in your life? What is IE? Okay, actually this is a mistake. Um, whoever made these questions, which is not me, uh, is a little confused. When you do, when you read, uh, especially some formal writing, uh, articles and stuff like that, you will see many uh, references or many abbreviations which come from Latin. Okay, these are from Latin. Uh, they all have different meanings. These are just two, but there are several that are commonly used. Okay, this is probably the most common. E.g. means what? Well, specifically, for example, okay, if we want to change it into, uh, into words, then anytime you see EG, that converts to or equals the words for example. Okay? How about IE? Anybody know? Okay, maybe it's easier to think about it like this. This is a maybe more informal conversational expression. In other words, okay? Actually, literally it means that is or that is to say, okay? But the meaning is in other words. So if you repeat the same meaning, the same content, but in other words, literally, okay, use IE. Okay, so in this case, it says IE, that's a mistake. Okay, this is a list not explaining the previous sentence in other words, but it's actually providing examples. Okay, so it should be EG. Okay, many people confuse uh, these abbreviations, so please uh, try to remember. Okay, so for example, Irritability. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Now, one and three are similar questions, but the basic question is very different, right? Question number one, what are the causes of your stress, right? What gives you stress? That's question one. Here in question three, what are the effects of stress, right? What does stress cause for you? Okay, again, uh, stress will have different causes and different effects for different people. Okay, now number four is a big question. Can you please read? Hmm, okay, so this is the big question, right? Why, why did Korea win the contest, okay? Why is Korea more stressed out than other places, okay? There are many possible reasons. Try to think, what, what is your opinion? What do you think causes so much stress in Korean life for Korean people? There is no right or wrong answer, just whatever you think. Okay, number five. Okay, now for this question, of course, it's case by case, right? You, you can't say that s stress is always more for men or for women, but think about this in general, right? And generally speaking, what do you think? Who generally has more stress, men or women? Or is, is there no difference whatsoever? Okay, again, that's your opinion. All right, I will read number six, uh, and we will skip number seven. Don't worry about number seven. Number six. Who do you think suffers from the highest amount of stress? Rank them in order of the most stressed to the least stressed. Okay, now here we have a list of different roles, right? Different kind of jobs or positions in society. This question asks you to rank them. That means make a list, right? From one to, how many are there? 10, 11, 12? 
Okay? But I think there's no need to rank. In, instead, look at the list and just choose two or three that you think have the most stress. Right? Choose your top three. In other words, of all these people, who has the most stress? Students, right? elementary school students, high school students, housewives, teachers, celebrities, okay? And the bottom three, right? Who has the least stress, okay? And for number six, if you want to add your own, right? You think the list is not complete. If you can think of somebody with more stress, for example, cuffs students, okay? No problem. You can add your own answer here. Understand? And seven you can skip. We don't need seven. Okay. So let's begin. Um, why don't we do groups of three? What do you think? So you three right here, can you move your chairs out a little bit? Or are, are you together? Are you, do you mind joining these gentlemen over here? Are you over here? OK, so let's do this. Uh, one big group or two small groups? OK, four. So come together. Make sure you come together. And how about the man, man group over here? Do you want to join the man group or stay with the ladies? OK, stay with the ladies. Anyway, please come together. And that group is a little bit too big. Can you come and join them over here? Or you can split anyway. Do you want to come over here? That sounds very similar to your words last week. She told us about her, she also takes care of students. But you can explain, yeah. What, what makes what? I think the most stressful from jobs, yeah. because uh, you meet too many people, but they don't agree with you all the time. What, and, kind, uh, what kind of job? I'm teaching English. Ah, <laughs> so you think teachers have more stress than other people? I, I don't think so. Every, uh, every person has their own stress, mm. because their situation is very situation varies. Yes. So in my case, uh, I should deal with so many children or teenagers. Right. They always want to, don't want to study. Do you have students of many different ages? I, I teach from the about uh, nine years to 15. So what age group gives you the most stress? Who are the biggest troublemakers? I think the, the probably uh, kind of because middle school age? Yeah, yes, because they have their own idea. Mm. And they, because they don't want to follow teacher instruction all the time. But in very, very younger age, they are a little bit more obedient to the teacher. Right. right. And what about the older age? What happens when they get older? Uh, I, I don't know because I, the, I, I'm now teaching only until 15. Ah, that's the limit uh, for you. Limit. Okay. So, after that, I don't know. But, but if you see, That's also a, a special time in life, you know, when you're that age, everything is changing for you. That's adolescence or puberty. All right. But so, I think that but it's very, very, the, some, sometimes it's a, the, very the interesting and I feel very satisfaction. Because you they feel very they, satisfied. They form their character. Uh, also, they have, want to have some dream. Mm. So I can give some stimulus. Oh, good stimulus. Good okay. teacher. No, no, I want to. Be, I want to be a good teacher. I want to do some the because their their the eyesight is still narrow, very narrow. So I want to give them because I have some the different and various experience from my the life. Mm. So I can give them the different kind of views and to give some more the information about the life. Okay, yeah, sounds great. Okay. <laughs> Help them too. Yeah. Share. Action. Action? What yeah. kind of action? Action? Direct action. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, this, um, 
my what is he got a uh, stress? Yeah, he never mm. moved. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking? Just don't thinking about stress. You try to okay. empty your mind uh, and, uh, and with yoga or something? <laughs> Meditation? <laughs> or so helpful for me. Uh, yeah. I just that. Uh, ev take everything easy. For <laughs> yeah, when I, I think I something in school, in school. I think uh, I remember <laughs> the last uh, week this time. Yeah, she is a cool habit. Yeah. yeah, the oh. anger anger meter was oh, very low yeah. score, maybe yeah, the lowest. Yeah. 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 So we should all listen to your advice about this topic. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Living without stress? Yes. 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 Without any stress? Is that possible? Yes. No, of course. Maybe it's possible. Maybe it is possible. How do you move towards that goal? How how do you how do you reduce the stress of your life? I watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah, effective yeah, method, yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, great. Watching TV. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm behind you. So, which question are you talking about now? Ah, number one. Okay, can I join you for a moment? So, what's the first question? <laughs> the causes of stress? My son. Your son? My son make me team up, right? He, his age is 13 years old now. Ah, he difficult has, age. He uh, has many reasons to me. He has many... Resistance? Oh, he has um, not many resistance, but a lot of resistance. Resistance? Yeah, a lot. It's non-count. A lot of resistance to you, yeah. Or toward you, that's right. So he doesn't always do what you ask him to do? That means you ask him to clean his room or something and he doesn't? I always call and kiss and say a lot, but he act. He pushes you away. Yeah, he just does what he wants to do. Yeah, he does what he wants to do. Do you know adolescence? Can you remember when you were that age? You were different? Yeah. You always listened to your parents? <laughs> I'm good daughter. Uh, <laughs> do you think sons and daughters are different in this situation? Yeah. 
Game? What kind of game? Oh, game. Uh, instead of spending time with the family, they go to the computer and play online. Yeah. I know PC Bang. Yeah. Um, actually, we say Internet Cafe. Internet Cafe. Do I enjoy it? Um, no, PC Bang is actually um, not very pleasant, I think. Sometimes smoky and dirty, and I have a computer in my house, so I can just play. So your daughter is younger, right? So do you, do you think you will have the same problem when she gets older? <laughs> You're ready? You're getting ready? What kind of music do you like? Recently? What kind of music do you like? Do you still play the song? Do you still play the song? Just a song. You want to play the song? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? A new situation? Can you explain? What kind of situation? Is she afraid? Is she afraid at night? She doesn't like to sleep alone? So does that happen with your son also? Do you have the same situation? No. Uh, because she's sleeping next to you, you get sleepy and fall asleep, and you don't don't finish your homework. Uh, Dependence? Yes, independence. Yes. <laughs> it's a very different situation, yeah. Your daughter wants to move closer to you, her son wants to move away. My daughter also, she's 11 years old. She say I I I like my friend. So when we go to play family, she she is one. She not one. She doesn't want. She doesn't want to spend time with the family. Do you have any children? <laughs> ah, so you can learn something from them for the future. Yeah. It's a difficult situation. I think I gave my mother trouble when I was that age, also. Yeah. I don't know. It's difficult. So you guys are talking about music? Uh, we are talking about how can we remove our stress. Ah, through yeah, listening to music or... I listen to music, also I was, uh, especially I like the hiking. Hi. Hi. Hiking. Oh, hiking! Yes. Yeah, okay. So every day I go to the 
barking. Every day? Every day because I... Uh, uh, you have enough time to go hiking yeah, every day? Yeah, because I work from the afternoon, uh, from 2 p.m. So mm. normally in the morning time, I have some time. So normally I uh, sometimes study for hoops, hoops. And uh, the, the, for sure time, I, went, I go to the... Well, every you're day. very lucky to have that much time to do... H how about you guys? How do you relieve your stress? Or release your stress. Um, listen to music and exercise. At the same time? Okay. What kind of music do you listen to when you work out? Some pop music and hip hop. Yeah, hip hop is good for working out. High energy. Yeah. How, how about you? <laughs> to relieve your stress or? Maybe to prevent stress. Prevent. Uh, just enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. Uh, in where? What? Which area? Mm. Sometimes. Which Sometimes, one okay. Which one better? Which one better? <laughs> What's the difference between the two club situations? I don't know. <laughs> just Sometimes. you like Gangnam better. Okay. Beer? What? I mean, uh, he just said. Uh, oh, it's closer to your house. Okay, so it's more convenient? Okay, all right. How about teacher? Me? You? Um, you mean how do I release stress? Uh, yes, or what, what's your question? I mean, uh, what, how can you relieve your relieve your stress? Well, I'm a little bit unusual, perhaps, because I don't, I don't get stressed, actually. Um, I try to live my life in the, the way that is uh, good for me. So maybe uh, I, instead of relieving stress, I prevent stress. You know, I do the things that I think are important or the things that I enjoy. So I, I don't have stress, really. You know, for example, um, working gives a lot of stress or study gives a lot of stress. But I like to work. I like to study. So that, you know, it doesn't give me stress. Um, I think the, sometimes the daily, every day you do the same thing, you feel kind of boring. Uh, you don't feel any um, I think only boring people feel bored. Oh, really? I, yeah, I never feel bored. Oh, really? yeah. so you're just doing your job? You... Uh, my job and my study. Oh, yeah, my study. job and my study, yeah. My study gives my life meaning. It you... makes me feel fulfilled. You feel like you do the different kind of study? The... Uh, Separated this kind of teaching. Oh, it's separate from teaching. Yeah, separate yeah, from yeah, teaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, it's a kind of productive work. You know, I think when we do something productive, uh, it helps us as human beings. And productive means you're building something. You're making something. Right. Not just making money, but you are. Kind mm, of creative something. Yes, exactly. Creating something. Right. Okay. So if you have a job that you like, and you are productive or creative, uh, like it sounds like you really enjoy teaching and helping the kids. Yeah. So doesn't, doesn't that make your life less stressful? It's or, both sides. Ah, okay, yeah, that's right. But, Every coin has two sides. Yeah, yeah. But I, I strongly agree with your point. When you do some kind, do some of the creative work, you feel the, unconsciously you feel the kind of energy. Mm. You just feel you nurtured, and you feel the recharge doing something. So I think it's when you, it's very important for somebody to find which kind of job or work I can feel kind of energy or kind of inspiration. Yes, something. yes, so it's a very good way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah. In my case, I, sometimes I write some kind of poem. Oh, yeah. you understand? Yeah. He writes poetry, poems. Yeah. So it's very, sometimes it's very, very good to make my mind more simple. 
But you know, also people who are writers, if they write poetry or books, whatever, sometimes that can be very stressful because maybe, have you experienced this before? When you write a beautiful poem and you're very happy, it feels great. But sometimes it's, it's too difficult to express yourself or to say what you want to say. And that, that happens to me also for my study and my writing. So uh, sometimes I don't push. Ah, it's just I, I, it's natural like, flow. It's like uh, you, you the, the have some the baby. You naturally just wait until it grow, until in your own. Ah, okay. And when the time is coming, naturally you give give birth. So every so, poem is like a baby for you. Yeah, I just I just nurture and. I wait until it grows. Yeah, here. if you try to push it out early, oh, it doesn't don't push. Okay, yeah, yeah. It yeah. makes stress. Right. right so okay. just because also when I write poem, so it's not my the job to make a living. Just it's my the, it's my job for enjoying or doing something. So I don't want to need to feel kind of the. the I pressure? Pressure. I don't feel any pressure. Mm. When I need to do, then I do. So. That's a kind of, uh, do you know Taoism? Maybe yeah. uh, Dogyo, yeah. I guess? Yeah. Kind of Taoist thinking, just I think, uh, yeah. flow with the wind, flow with the, yeah, with the river. Yeah, the philosophy, they don't push. Mm. Just go naturally. Can you feel it? Do you, do you agree? Or are you push? Yeah, if you're exercising, lifting weights, <laughs> ah, don't push it, don't push it. It doesn't work, yeah, you must push. Yeah, it's a very different kind of feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So you all have different techniques, that's interesting, yeah. The poet, the dancer, and the exerciser. Okay, interesting. Okay, everybody. Uh, we're going to finish the class very soon, but before we go, um, I'd like to have a chance to share a little bit about, you know, some things that you talked about with your group. Okay, I'm curious to know, I think uh, we're all curious to hear different opinions about different issues, okay? Um, I visited some of the groups. I spent a lot of time with these guys over here. And we talked about different ways of relieving stress, right? different techniques or different methods. So um, what, what are, everybody, what, how do you relieve your stress? What are your methods? Outburst. <laughs> Music, okay. Sleeping, <laughs> taking a walk, hiking, right, I heard. Exercise, okay, what kind of exercise do you think helps you? Walking, so not, not too strenuous, just kind of gentle exercise. Okay. Does exercise make you stressful, stressed out? That's true. Sometimes when you're, you know, if you're exercising to lose weight, you know, looking at that scale, it's very stressful, right? So be careful, yeah. Okay, how about the second question? Is some stress good for you? Did anybody say yes? What do you think? Okay, when, how? When a rival appears. A target. 
Target, yes. Pursue, yes. So the stress, yeah. how does the stress help in that situation? Yeah, in that kind of situation, how does stress help you? Why is stress good? Uh, the spirit of competition, competitive spirit. So the stress gives you motivation. Okay, all right. Is it, is it just in Korea? I mean, maybe universal. Competition, okay. Now it, it seems like we're heading into question number four a little bit here, right? In other words, what are, what is the, what are the special characteristics of Korea, okay? Did you have a chance to talk about this? Remember, the question is, why was Korea the number one most stressed out country? What do you think? Everybody wants to go to the top, and they don't know to go back to the bottom. What do you think? Yes, thank you. Do you feel competition right now? When you look around the table, do you see rival, 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 rival? I mean, so when do you feel that kind of competition? When do you feel that pressure? So this week, maybe, all those high school students taking sunung? Do they have lots of stress? I think so, too. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's my fault. Okay. All right. Um, how about number five? Um, did, what do you think? Are, is there any difference between men and women for stress? Did anyone say yes? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Why? Oh, uh, some special duties towards your parents or your husband's parents. Okay, all the women are gudugudugging. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Suspected. What is delicate? Sensitive? Yeah. Women's, women's character is sensitive? Okay. Men, do you agree? 
<laughs> That's the safe answer. Okay, I will remember that for the future. <laughs> yeah. Okay, finally, uh, let's take a look at number six. So, wh what do you think, out of all these people, or, you know, you might have your own answer, who do you think has the most stress for this list? High school students? Everybody agree? Yeah. Celebrity. celebrity. Yeah. But celebrities are rich. Famous, beautiful. To be the most <laughs> famous or Temporary, they're famous yeah, temporary, temporary, fleeting. Yeah, they try to gain attraction from public, yeah, and this, and this, yeah, it is very stressful. Yeah, um, I'm sure all of you know this program, um, I guess English title is I Am a Singer. So I watched this, not lately, but over the summer, I watched many episodes, and it's a very painful moment when, you, when they, you know, they're announcing the rank, and you're getting towards the bottom of the list, and you know that some of these people are going to be the losers. And you know, it, it shows the camera focus on each face one by one, and you can really feel this kind of pain kind of stress. Mm. Okay, wow. So s high school students and celebrities, that's it? Anyone have a different opinion? Okay, why? Again, they're rich, right? Do you have this experience? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, I already see him nearby, so it's really stressful. Insomnia. Do you know? Insomnia. You can't but sleep. I, I deny. Mm. Yeah, so then, are women, do women really have more stress than men? The cause and the age. Yeah. Yeah. How does age matter? Why is age young, important? Young women, young women do get stressed from pain. Young men have a job problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, interesting. Okay, well, um, I'm afraid that we are out of time, but thank you for coming, and uh, please have a, a, a wonderful weekend, and uh, I hope to see you again next time, okay? Goodbye. <laughs>